So, I guess a million questions are running through your head right now, like, what are you doing back here? Oh, you're looking good. It's been almost a year and a half. Actually, it's been over a year and a half. Why are they back? Are they back? Are they officially back? Is it just her making an idiot of herself? All of these questions are valid. Yes, the Awesome Club is back, and I think better than ever. So, why? Why are we all back? Well, I think it was about a month maybe like three weeks ago Karina actually posted how she missed us and beforehand I was actually missing this club a lot as well and so it was a very like everybody was like yeah I'm totally in on it as you can tell from looking around I am pretty much in the same location I was before wow a lot has changed in a year and a half or not actually a lot has changed despite me being in the exact same place I was a year and a half ago. So let's start from where we left off. Um, wow. Hey, okay, October of 2012, that was the fall of my senior year. I started driving just then. My life was pretty ordinary up until about March of 2013 when I started getting college acceptance letters back. Now for most people that I know, they usually stay in state pretty close to home. However, um, the majority of the schools I applied to were actually over 1,500 miles away. So it was a really big deal depending on which colleges I got into. I applied to the University of Houston, which is only about 20 minutes from my house if I had to. SMU, which is in Dallas. Um, I applied to Pratt Institute, which is a art institute art institution in Brooklyn, New York, and then I applied to two schools in Boston, Emerson College and Boston University. So in March of 2013, I finally heard back from the colleges I applied to, and after much debate and deliberation and signing away my life for $100,000 worth of student debt, I chose um, Emerson College, which is a small liberal arts school that focuses on communications in Boston, Massachusetts. In June of 2013, I graduated from high school. It was a really great experience because I was finally like, a fuel, I'm out of here, peace, going to Boston. And like, as I was walking down the walkway to shake the hand of the school principal, I was like, and I'm going to Boston and that song was singing in my head and uh, that was one of the greatest moments of my life was finally knowing that I am done with Texas even though I'm still here right now okay so the same time period Emerson because it being a small school created a Facebook group um, where I met quite a few friends and my actual roommate for the fall semester and then August was here and I picked up my things and moved to Boston. My major in uh, school is film production, so my life is just crazy now. Lived in a very old building that is haunted and was built in 1901 and the elevators break all the time and there's fire alarms at 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, it was really nice. There was a Dunkin's in my building so I could just go downstairs anytime and get coffee. So, this is where things start changing completely and I become a different person is the first semester of college. I had this roommate named Cindy and uh, I moved in together and huh, we lasted about a month. We got in a fight. She turned all of my friends against Yeah, they just decided to side with her in the argument even though it was something that could have gone either way. It was just their opinions and obviously who they liked more. I didn't have any friends. I actually uh, like learned a lot about me as a person. So I found myself in those two months, which is really cheesy. Also during that time though, I was fighting depression and spent a lot of time in my room. I did often go out. Um, I went to my first college party, which was really lame. And um, I made some friends that I am so happy I made that I actually get along with really well. And, um, yeah, and then the second semester came, and my roommate, her name is Jay. She is one of my best friends now. Um, she's wonderful. She gets me so much a completely different environment than what I have with Cindy, and I am so much happier where I am now. I'm actually rooming with her next year as well. And then after the semester, 
I came home back to Texas where it's 100 degrees already, when it was barely 60, when I was in Boston, and it's not great. I love Boston. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of pictures in here right now because 